This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals Course D, Lesson 8, Nested Loops and Maze, Part 10. Challenge Puzzle. Oh, awesome. Challenge puzzles are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. Can do. I'm ready. All right. Figure out how to get all the nectar using only the blocks available. Oof. And we have a maximum of seven blocks here. Now it looks like our nectar stacked. So this is 12 stacks of nectar, 12 stacks, 12 stacks, 12 stacks. Alrighty. So at least I can use repeats. With only two move forwards, I definitely know I'm going to need repeats. So let's put this up here and try to tackle one side at a time. Well, if I need to move throughout these four blocks, hmm. Well, I can't move forward th four times, though. I would bump my head here. So let's try going forward three times. And we should get to the end. Let's double check. So any code in between this pink block, remember, will now be run not once. Once, hits the bottom. Twice, three times. Then it drops below and runs code below it. Okay, we got to the edge. Well, what would we want to do after that? Oh, wait. Each time we move forward, uh-oh, we need to get nectar. So let's get nectar first, I guess, because we start on a flower. Now let's see. Oh, but now we're only getting one. Hmm. Oh, what if we use this? Because that's the, we can only use nectar once. Get nectar once. Okay. So let's say 12 times here, because there's 12 in each flower. I'm going to put this inside my other repeat, because I need to get it for each of the three flowers I go over here. Right? So, hey, for these three flowers, get the nectar. And it starts here, gets the nectar, gets all the nectar, gets all the nectar. And then, uh, moves forward, moves forward, moves forward, and then I stop. Let's try. Watch, you see it dropping? 12 times, moves forward, goes back and repeats. Okay, so great. So right now I have repeat three times. I get all 12 nectars, right? It drops down and says, okay, I'm going to run this three times. Gets 12 nectar. Then drops down, moves forward. Okay, I'm going to repeat this two more times. Oh, 12 times get the nectar again. Okay, move forward. One more time, got to run all this code. 12 times get nectar, move forward. Now I would want to turn to the right, I think. And then I'm going to use our last repeat, because after I turn to the right, every side's the same. It's a square. So how many sides the squares have? Four. And at the end we should get the nectar for each one. Because right when I turn now, I'm going to go zoop, back to the top, run this three times, starting with getting the nectar for this first square. So it should get the nectar. Let's see. And now it's running the whole thing another four time, uh, another time for that side. Now it's doing it another time. And then it's going to turn right, and then zoop back to the top, and we're going to go forward three more times. Yay! We did it! So just to take a look at the code again, it makes sense, because the square is four-sided, and we need to repeat this getting the nectar three times. Right? Well, how many squares are in this square? Oh, well, four. Four. Two. Two. So it's 12 total squares. And four times three is 12, which is how many times we're getting the nectar. Awesome. Let's uh keep going.